y'all i'm about to do my security clearance interview with a government official something like that they called me like a couple days ago and then um to set up an appointment i didn't even know i really had to do one because i feel like some other people that i know who went in did not do an interview which i don't even have a job right now so i'm not sure why but we're gonna do it it's gonna be in an hour so i'm kind of tired i don't like i woke up like an hour ago and it's gonna be in an hour so uh but i'm awake i'm doing it over like a video call because they're not doing in person obviously because of everything with covid and whatever so yeah basically i'll let you guys know how it goes i'm not sure exactly what they're gonna ask i'm guessing just going over like whatever i wrote down with my recruiter and then some, some people were saying like oh if you have debt whatever I, i'm good so but i'm not sure so i'll let you know all right i lied i'm about to go get a bang because i have no energy and i need to focus so that's where i'm gonna go right now i got literally one hour so i got time i got purple guava pear and like three pina coladas because that's my favorite uh i'm gonna drink one of those Head to the house, get ready for this interview. All right, I'm already up even before that. So cool, all right. And I'm done. All right, that was quick. It is 12, 16. I thought it was gonna be until one. Uh, it started at 12, so 16 minutes, but basically 15 minutes. Very simple if you have nothing in your background, basically, um, like nothing's really changed for me. So it was very simple. Um, as long as you know your history and what you wrote down, it's basically everything you wrote down, they're kind of just going over that, then it should be simple. And I think with this interview, if I'm not mistaken, it's like kind of like luck of the draw if you get an interview, because I know like some people didn't, some people did, so I did, but I don't ha even have a job or a date yet. So, but it was very simple. I just, um, he gave me his uh, like license or um, ID just to make sure I knew who he was and then he asked for mine so I gave like my passport and social security and stuff like that just so he knew and then we just went over basically the questions that I um, wrote down on the list you know on your security list when you first go to your recruiter the little um, what is it that packet so very simple yeah other than that only thing I ha had to think on was like my school year it was like two different years and I was like oh yeah it was like 2018 is when I finished school and that was basically it so very simple if you guys are doing it don't worry unless you got something to worry about but other than that simple that's how I like my stuff quick and simple all right yeah so you may or may not get a um interview before or after bmt that's also something that i learned so it just depends like maybe you'll get it before or maybe during bmt i think don't quote me on this but i think that's how it works so okay so really quick i was gonna leave it there but my mom was like you know what just let them know more stuff so thank mama lisa that um <laughs> you guys are getting more info because i was just gonna make it a quick video okay so first things first when they call you i'm not sure this is just my experience so it could be different for everybody but when they called me he called me emailed me and texted me um and he emailed and texted his id so make sure whoever you guys are talking to if they say they're from security clearance make sure they have some kind of identification um and then message your recruiter so i messaged my recruiter right after he had called and texted all that and i was just like just want to let you know it, this guy messaged me he said he's from this department and this is his info da, 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 da. my recruiter was like okay cool go ahead and go through with it and then again when we actually did the video video interview he showed his identification card and then he asked to see like my identification so i did that so you will have to have like your id or passport something on you that they can visibly see so just make sure you have something like that if you're doing it over video call so in the beginning he was just asking me basic questions making sure i knew who i was uh schooling just really basic stuff that you guys wrote down on that uh, initial packet you probably should have done it was like the security clearance packet like way in the beginning when you first talked to your recruiter and you had to write down like who knows you neighbors that know you school job you went to it's basically going over that and just if you know what you wrote down you should be good 
it should be about you so it should be good um i was like nervous when i first like the day that he called me i'm like oh i nobody told me how to do this and like everybody who i know really didn't really have to do one so why are they like why do i have to do it but um it, it was really simple like it was supposed to be an hour it was like 15 minutes and then basically after that he ended with questions about like foreign affairs so if you have like money you know if you part of different organizations you ain't supposed to be part of and all that he goes through that and then it ended with like when was the last time i was out of the country something like that um and for me it was like i was on vacation so but <laughs> that was basically it like after that i thought okay it's gonna be longer it was it was pretty much it probably because i really haven't changed anything in the last couple years since i had wrote since i had written all that stuff down it's probably going to be different for maybe one of you guys if something has changed anything like that i can't speak on it because again it was just a simple interview for my experience from some other youtube videos that i've watched about security clearance some people were asked about debt like if they had student loans and stuff or like if they had any criminal history criminal background stuff like that um again they didn't ask me those questions but you know, if something is on your uh, paperwork and maybe they just wanna ask about it, you just need to know, like, you need to basically know your history. You need to know what you wrote down. Now, I thought for me, I was like, I don't know why they're calling or anything because I haven't, like, I don't have a job, I don't have a leave date, so I don't know why they're calling, but somebody was like, well, maybe it's cause like you're over 21, so you you probably have a bigger history, you know, that they wanna go through yeah somebody also said like another video i was watching they're like they just want to make sure that you wouldn't be coerced into doing something bad in the military because you have debt or because you got to pay off something like you know what i'm saying so um if you guys know of course my comments down below treat it like a forum if you guys know the answer you know you can go ahead and answer people's questions just make sure you guys know like this is all personal experiences. Everything that we go through, whether you've done the interview or not, or you want questions answered or not, just take everything people say with a grain of salt because again, it is different for every single person. That's what I've learned through this whole crazy process. And then just really quick, uh, at the end, I will just tell you the little drama. It was just a little bit, it was just whatever. Like when they first called, he was like, okay, um, you have to do an interview, da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, is it on the phone? Or like, do I have to meet with you? And he's like, well, COVID's happening. So like, you could do it on the phone or like the video interview. So I was like, I'll just call you, that's fine. And then an hour later, he comes back and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, it's the wrong Harris. Uh, you actually have to do a video interview. I'm like, did you really, one, how could you mess up my name? You're from the government, like, Okay. Two, that Harris could do a phone interview, but I could only do a video interview. And I mean, like I said, it was just a little drama. I didn't really ask, just like, whatever. I could do the same day. I'll just do it um, with my laptop or whatever. But I just thought it was funny because I'm like, did you just want me to choose video call? But I just said phone. I'll, I'll do it over the phone. Then you're like, oh crap, we need her to do the video interview. So. I don't know, that was just something small. Um, I just thought it was pretty funny, okay? Uh, but that's why I also messaged my recruiter because I was like, mm, am I sure this is the right people? But it was, I don't know what happened over that way. Um, but that's basically it. So again, thank my mom because she was wanting me to go a little bit more in detail. Okay, but that is the update guys. I don't have a job, I don't have a date yet. I am in a depth like group chat with my recruiter and he's just giving like, not really info because honestly there hasn't even been info like given out right now but if anything happens i will let you guys know thanks so much again you know what to do hit that subscribe like leave a comment and follow me on my instagram because you know i update you the most on there i will see you in the next video bye